Hello everyone, Yo. and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at one of Jesus's last commands to the church right before he ascended into heaven. So in other words, we're gonna take a look at Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. And in Matthew chapter 28, Jesus taught his disciples what we know as the Great Commission. And so we have to ask ourselves, what is the Great Commission? And this is what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 28. And he says this, And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. You see, Jesus wanted everyone to know about his love and his grace and his forgiveness. Jesus wanted the good news to be spread everywhere. And so he sent his disciples on this incredible mission to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. And did you know that the mission that Jesus gave to his disciples 2000 years ago, that mission also extends to us today. You see, the purpose of your life and the purpose of my life, it's not about how much money you make, it's not about getting the best grades, and it's not even about getting into the best schools. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but if we claim to be followers of Jesus Christ, if we believe that He is our Lord and our Savior, then the purpose of our life is to spread the good news of Jesus to everyone. We are called to share our faith with others. And I love this quote by this guy named Billy Graham, and maybe you know of him, but he's one of the most famous evangelists. Um, check out what he said about sharing our faith, and this is what he says. Our faith becomes stronger as we express it. A growing faith is a sharing faith. And this is what he's pretty much saying. He's saying that one of the ways that we can grow in faith is by sharing our faith to others. A growing faith is a sharing faith. And I get it, it's not easy to share our faith to people that we don't even know. It's scary to share our faith to strangers because we're afraid of what people will think of us. We're afraid that we don't know what to say. But in those moments, I'm always reassured by this Bible verse from 2 Timothy, and it says this, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Now, I don't know about you, but that verse gives me the strength and the boldness to go out and to share my faith. And here's the thing, you will never know what God can do when you share. And the only way that you can know what God has in store for you is when you start and when you begin sharing your faith to others. Okay, so here's my challenge to everyone that's watching right now. Who in your life needs to hear about who God is? Who in your life needs to hear the good news that Jesus died and rose again so that our sins can be forgiven? And I guarantee you there's a lot of people in your life that needs to hear the good news. And the only way that they can is when you begin to share and that's when you begin to start sharing your faith. And so that's why we as a body of Christ, we need to share our faith with others because when we share, that's when we will grow. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. And I know I say this all the time, but I really appreciate your support. And before you go, make sure to hit that like button right down below somewhere like right here. I have no idea if it's on this side or on this side or wherever it is. Uh, before you go, I'd really, really appreciate it. Hey, take care, God bless. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. Oh, what the? How did I? What just happened? Okay, all right, let's get out of here. Pastor Tim, ow. Oh, oh, whoa, what? How did I end up here? Wait, is this goose? Oh, dang it, I think I got goose poop all over my shirt. Oh. Did you guys just see that? I just came out of nowhere again. I forgot to wash my hands. You know, you always gotta wash your hands so that stuff like this don't happen, okay? Pastor Tim, out.